Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a shop or drop video. It's not going to be long, but I saw for a few products that's launching and let's talk about are we going to shop or are we going to pass? All right, let's jump right into it. So the first product is this new foundation stick from Charlotte Tilbury. So it's called the um, Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint Hydrating Foundation Stick. Now, I think I'm in the minority here. I love a good foundation stick. I love a good foundation stick. I love the creaminess of it. But this is saying, and you know, I'm obsessed with complexion products. So, but this is saying tint. But then again, that Rihanna one, the, the foundation stick that I love from Rihanna had set tint as well, and that has beautiful coverage. I don't know if this is the same. Of course, the packaging is beautiful. Charlotte Tilbury has very nice packaging. Let me hold it back so you guys can see. And a lot of these I'm getting from Trend Moods page because, you know, she has the hottest um, makeup releases and stuff. So for now, I think it's a pass because... I have so much foundation. I saw somebody said they have so much makeup. Something has to really, really impress them for them to purchase. And I think I'm leaning that way now. But of course, when it launches, you never know what you're going to do. I think this launch, my dog is outside barking if you, and there's a mosquito in my room. Um, <laughs> who knows when it launches after the reviews start, start to come out. But I think for this, I'm going to go in store and swatch. But for now, it's a pass for me. All right. So the Nessa Marix is coming out with concealer July 2nd next month. So this is called the Yummy Skin. This is from the Yummy Skin family. So it's the Yummy Skin Lift and Flex Concealer from the Nessa Myricks. You guys know I love her. This is the only, um, I think this is the only product that was, one of the only products that was missing from a full face for me. Because, I mean, she has powder. She has the cream contour. I'm not sure if she has a powder contour, but you know, she has almost everything for a full face. To me, she was always missing a, a concealer. So here it is. Like I said, it's going to launch July 2nd. It just looks, you know, I love the Yummy Skin family. I have her Yummy Skin foundation, the Yummy Skin tint. This looks as though it's going to be good. Shade range is looking pretty good. So I, for me, let me, let me know what you, you guys know I love concealer. I have a lot of concealers, but I think this is going to be a shop for me. Like it's the Nessa Myricks, it's concealer. And you know, everything she does, it's always so innovative and just different. So it's a medium to full coverage concealer, plant powered. It's hybrid. She always has these hybrid formulas. I don't know, for some reason, my eyes this morning, I mean, I just did my makeup. It's very like, where did this mosquito come from? It's very like watery. And I don't want to touch it too much because I don't want my eyeliner to run, but it's feeling super watery. Oh, it corrects and cover with a natural soft matte finish. This is definitely going to be a shop for me, for sure. All right. I got so excited when I saw this one. The Patrick Ta, he's coming up with new highlighter duos. And it's it's called the Major Glow Cream and Powder Light Reflecting Highlighter Duo. This is definitely going to be a shop for me. I've already shopped. I purchased it the day it launched. It launched early on the app. I'm hoping this video goes up by Friday. Um, but this launched on the 14th. It's supposed to launch on the 14th, but I purchased it early this morning as soon as it went up on the 13th. So this is a buy for me. These look so delectable and I cannot wait. Now, I saw on TikTok though, people were saying, oh, the powder side looks glittery. Give me all the glitter. Give me the glitter, the glitterati, the glitter, the donut, the glaze. Just give it to me. It's summer. I want to be out there shining like bright like a diamond. <laughs> I was so excited when I saw it. Like, you know when you love makeup and you and it's like I was hoping 
it would launch in store. I called my Sephora and they were like, oh no, you have to purchase online. Um, it's not, we don't have it in store this week. And then she says, I'm not sure when we're going to get it in. I was like, God damn it. And then, um, my TikTok bestie, she also said that I think she called her store and she's in Georgia and they told her the same thing that it's not going to be in store. I was hoping cause I would have gone in store on Thursday, uh, tomorrow and whatever and pick it up. But so, but I purchased, so let me know if you guys are going to get this or you guys tired of highlighter, you don't really care, but I, I, I don't know. I thought this was a good one. So Elf is coming out with these new foundations. They're already out. I think they're starting to be in store now. It's the Soft Glam Satin Foundation. It's a it's a purchase for me. I already purchased um, this foundation and I have a review up on my channel. It's beautiful. It's only $8. So just in case you haven't seen my video, um, it's the last video I did. It's up on my channel as we speak. This is so good for $8. Um, I'm actually not wearing it today, but I've worn it so much since they did such an amazing job on this foundation. It's so easy. It's so good. My skin looked good. My skin felt good with it. This is so beautiful. So this, this was definitely a shock for me. Let me know if you guys are going to get it or are you going to pass, but this was definitely a shock. All right, so Huda came out with these. Um, it's called the Blush Filter Soft Glow. Like she came out with these liquid um, blushes, and everybody on TikTok is talking about them. For me, I have so much blush, and as much as liquid blushes has just been on the market, what he talks about it, what he uses them, I'm still not a huge fan. I prefer a cream or a powder, but I do own some liquid bl blushes, but everybody's talking about how beautiful this is and they have some beautiful shades. I mean, look at this shade. This is a watermelon pop and they said it's a warm brick. Look how pretty this is. This is so pretty. This is so beautiful, but it's like, I'm thinking, you I mean, look how nice it looks on her skin. I do not need another blush. Look how look how look how amazing it looks on the watermelon pop, right? Look how beautiful it looks on the model with the deep skin. Look look how it looks on the model with the deep skin. I'm trying to angle my phone so you guys can see. Isn't that beautiful? So nice. But for now I'm going to drop because I have so much blush. I just discovered this new technique I'm using. I used it in my last video. If you haven't seen, I did a get ready with me, my makeup of the week. And I featured the elf foundation, um, where you put the highlighter first and then you put the blush and I've been loving it. So today I have the same combo that I used in that video. I have the Danessa Myricks, her cream to blush in incognito. And then I have house labs, pomelo peach on top. And I'm finally now appreciating the Pamela Peach Blush because I love it like this. I prefer it um, where I put the highlighter underneath. But these look so pretty and everybody's raving about the formula. But from the, let me know, are you guys, did you guys purchase? Are you gonna, are you gonna shop or are you gonna drop? For me right now, it's a drop just because I have so much, so many blushes. And then it's a liquid blush, but the colors look really, really pretty. So as you know, one size and Patrick Star, he can he he has three more additions to his powder line. So this is what this is rich peach. I really wanted to check this out. Like I need any more powder. I do not need any more powder. So the new shades he has rich peach. This is marigold. This really bright yellow. I mean, oh my god, like. On deep skin can you imagine but then I did see um, someone on TikTok she's like very dark had like a look looked like a black Barbie when she put it under her eye it, it more had like a whitish highlighted look it didn't look as yellow I don't know if this picture is you know manipulated a little bit for it to look so bright but it's still pretty um did you guys shop it 
I was thinking about it, but I think it's going to be a drop for now because I really do not need, <laughs> like I said, I really don't need another um, powder. And I think the other one he added, no, it can't, it can't be sweet honey. I don't remember what's the other one that was added, but I was looking at rich peach and I was looking at that, at the, um, that yellow powder. Did you guys purchase? For me right now, that's going to be a drop. All right, so Rare Beauty, Rare Beauty is coming out with pressed powders. I have a weakness for powder. I have a weakness for everything complexion when it comes to makeup. I prefer complexion like the face over the eyes or lips. Um, what happened? <laughs> this went to something totally different. Oh. So she's coming out with pressed powders. You know I love her loose powder. I haven't worn it in a while though. Her loose powder, Always an Optimist. I think it's a beautiful powder. Now she's coming out with pressed powders. These do look very pretty. So it's called True to Myself Tinted Press Finishing Powder. So this is a finishing powder. It doesn't say setting. So I guess after you set, and I'm, I'm intrigued by this, honestly. And... I'm tempted to say it's going to be a shop for me, but I'm still tentative because I have so much powder. But then again, maybe I can put it over my Sephora powder that I've been loving, over my MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish that I've been loving. But it clearly says tint, so you're not going to get a lot of coverage. Just like her loose powder, Always an Optimist, it's not, you're not going to get a lot of coverage with that, but it gives such a soft, beautiful, airbrushed, glowy finish. Well, not glowy, like a satiny, just a nice finish. I'm thinking the pressed powders, maybe. And her products are very affordable, um, which I like. So, a matte formula that can also deliver a luminous, neutral finish. So, maybe it's like the Huda. You know, Huda has even her the under eye setting powder, which I'm wearing today in Kunapa. And I have the one size ultra pink. I have... You know, I have my makeup tray. The only thing I switched out so far is the is my foundation today. But everything else I've been wearing, of course, I just did a matte eye. But that Ultra Pink Powder, to think that sat in, in my drawer for months, I'm obsessed with it already. Since I used it on camera when I did um, that last video. My eyes are watering so much and burning. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, So I'm using the Ultra Pink Powder again today. I love it. So... That's what I was talking about. These Ray Beauty powders, and they just, they look so pretty to me. This is on Trend Moods page. Um, I'm so, I'm so tempted to say it's gonna be um, a purchase. Let's see, did she have the price listed? Oh, it's not coming out until, um, there's 14 shades, but she says she'll confirm it, and it's coming out not until July 8th, 18th. So I have a lot of time to think about it. So right now, I'll just say, I'm going to say I'll buy it, but I'm not sure, not 100% sure, because a finishing powder, I love the idea of it, like you set with the powder that you love, and then you go over top with a nice finishing powder. So, for right now, I'm going to say shop. Now, another product I saw launching, and this is also from a Charlotte Tilbury, she's, she's launching, these look so pretty to me. She's So, she's launching these, um, and I'm probably not going to list everything I talk about. So if you have any questions, you can always um, ask me. So um, she's launching these new, it's called New Beautiful Skin Lip and Cheek Glow. This shade right here looks so pretty. Um, the shade on the bottom, it looks so pretty to me. This is on Trend Moods page. The shade on the bottom right there, the darkest shade, that looks so pretty. So you can put it on your cheek and you can put it on your lips so it's multitasking. And look at the models with this. This is just glowy and summery. But then I'm thinking I probably can combine something in my collection. Look, look at my cheek today to look similar to this. But, you know, we keep buying the same thing in different packaging. We know that. But, you know, this is a safe space for all my makeup addicts. <laughs> so it's okay. But I think these look so pretty, especially that lash shade that really caught my eye. And then probably on the lip, it probably, probably looks so pretty. And it doesn't look as, as though it would be sticky in the lip because that's my sort of, when it comes to like 
um, glosses and I wear my hair down a lot. Plus just how it feels on the lip to me doesn't last long. But this seems more of like a liquid sort of cream. So maybe it wouldn't move. And I think that last shade would probably look stunning this summer. Let me see when it launches. It just says coming soon. I don't see um, a date. Um, for right now, I'm going to say pass for now, but I'll be definitely thinking about it. This too, I probably would have to... Oh, it went away. Yeah, this too, I will probably would have to swatch in store. Maybe this, I'll probably look at some reviews on TikTok before I decide if I'm purchasing or not. All right, so lastly, because there's not a lot of stuff out there that I'm, I'm thinking about, but um, so Fenty Beauty is coming out with hair care. So this is in the vein of, of beauty. Now... She has natural hair. She wears wigs. She's been showing her beautiful, curly, natural hair on social media. So she's coming out with hair care. It's a pass for me because, first of all, I have a perm. I didn't read through it. I don't know if it's for permed hair, whatever. I mean, relaxed hair, whatever. But I don't really mess around too much with what I put in my hair. So I'm not, like, about to start. I have my, my regimen, the products that I use. I rarely switch them out. But I'm so curious to know, are you guys looking at this? Are you guys going to purchase this? What are your thoughts on this hair care line? I know Beyonce came out with one. I didn't pay too much attention to that one either for the same reasons. Um, for the same reasons. But this one seemed to be getting more traction. Um, the Fenty hair care line. I know a lot of people love her skincare line. I know my sister liked that fat water and a couple other things from her line. But let me know if you guys are going to be getting anything from the hair care line at all. For me personally, it, it's a pass because all the reasons um, I stated, no shade to her. You know I love Fenty, but I'm not going to mess around with um, the hair care products. But anyway, I just wanted to make this quick little video and talk about, um, you know, what's launching, what are we going to get, what are we not going to get. So if there's anything else you guys saw on the radar, because um, mostly I'm, I focus on Sephora because I shop at Sephora um more and this is Sephora closer to me so I, I go to Sephora more but the, if there's anything else that you guys are see launching you interested and um I have a few of you that usually send me stuff on Instagram if it's launching or whatever and I really appreciate it um but anyway guys um let me know sound off in the comments um your thoughts if there's anything else you guys um gonna purchase if you're thinking of purchasing or passing and I will see you in my next video bye guys